Hi, we're getting ready to draw Sasha's blood now. And even though she's had some treats and rewards, we found it, the amount of time, you know, for eating, causing any kind of lipemia or alterations in the blood work, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really have an effect. Uh, so anyway, we are going to go ahead and draw our blood. And how we do this is she will get rewarded as we're drawing the blood. And a few key things I also wanted to point out is to help make this less stressful and easier on Sasha is that I use small gauge needles. In other words, this is a 25 gauge needle to do the blood draw. And I know this is very contrary to what many of us learned in veterinary school, uh, yet actually from a clinical pathologist, this is where this was suggested a long time ago at a veterinary conference. And in our experience here at this clinic for the past about 18 years that we've been doing our blood draws in that this way, we've not had any problems with uh, hemolysis or lipemia or alterations on the blood uh, work. So um, we're going to go ahead and take her blood. The other thing I was going to say that helps out with being able to your staff to hold the pet and maybe do rewards themselves directly or targeting, having them focused on the reward, is using tourniquets. Uh, this way it frees up my technician's hands to not have to worry about uh, holding off the vein. And this is one type of tourniquet. Some of you may have a loop with the uh, sliding little thing on the bottom. Or even as simple as a rubber band and a hemostat can also work as a tourniquet. So why don't we go ahead and just use a hemostat today. So Sasha loves laying on the exam table and that may be the position we're going to do this in today, which is perfectly fine. So uh, Nancy, if you want, you can come up front and still be a part of Sasha's reward system. So what I do is we'll just go ahead and put the tourniquet around her paw. She's getting rewarded as we're putting the tourniquet on. So now she will associate good things with the tourniquet being put on her leg. And that's a good girl. Good job, Sasha. And we'll go ahead and really lather you up. Now a lot of times I'll also use a tarsal vein here for some pets that may be not liking an approach from the head or difficult on doing a blood draw. And so we put the tourniquet up here on the thigh, and again, with a smaller gauge needle, you can get into that vein and get your uh, blood. But we need a little bit more today, so. Oh, it's a good girl. Here she you go. a good Sasha. Oh, I know. Yeah. Oh, good yeah, Sasha. Good girl. Oh. That's yeah, a good girl. So just, you know, patiently draw, you know, massage the leg. Hi, honey. She's a good girl. And we'll get our blood. Good job, Sash. Yeah. I think the trouble a lot of us get into is we pull back on that syringe so fast and so hard, we may collapse the vein around, you know, the draw. So you just have to learn to be a little more patient as you're drawing with a smaller gauge needle. But the end result is oftentimes we have a patient that's much more easy to handle for doing this. Very good, girl. Good jump, Sash. Yeah. Good jump. Yeah. I'm totally happy. Mm-hmm. There you go. Yep. Doing good, Sasha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She fell asleep. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good girl. She a good baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. sorry. Hang on. Well, let's get a little more. <gasps> you moved on us. I'm sorry. That's okay. I let her do that. We can edit that. <laughs>